This is a video on checking fuses on your car the easy way as opposed to using pliers and fuse pullers. This video can be used on all makes and models of vehicles, cars or trucks. It doesn't matter to check fuses. This particular video is for a Saturn S series. We're going to remove the fuse panel cover as you can see here. A lot of these fuses are small and they're very difficult to see if they're actually good or bad. So we're going to use a digital multimeter. Now the digital multimeter that we're going to be using actually has a continuity check, an audible continuity check. What that means is it's going to produce a tone when you have a direct connection or continuity, which you're going to see in this video. This is your ohms that I'm pointing to. This is going to be your continuity check. Oops. Sorry about the uh, shaky video. I apologize for that. Don't worry about the overload that you're seeing here. Don't let that bother you. Again, you want to put it on ohms. And if you have a multimeter like this, you're going to have to push the select button. So the audio or speaker button lights up. As you can see, if you hold the two prongs together, the, it ohms out and it zeroes, which would mean you have a good fuse. If you hit your select button, you're going to get a little audio icon like that. So when you put your probes together, you get a sound like that. Now, it won't zero out. It will eventually, but you're going to have to hold it for quite a long time. Now, to check your fuses, it's real simple. You can put your multimeter to the side. You don't even have to look at the meter. You're going to touch one probe to each side don't worry about getting electrocuted you're going to take one probe and touch it to each side of your fuse and you're going to listen for an audio that fuse is good next one that fuse is good good if you don't get it right away touch it again as you can see we've got all good fuses this is pretty quick it's a lot quicker than pulling them out directly with a uh, fuse puller, needle nose. This is a lot faster. This tells you your fuses are good if you're hearing this sound. Now you're probably wondering, well, what's it like if I get a bad one? Well, you're about to find out. I'm playing with my multimeter, yes. Here you can he see we have good ones. Well, something's not right. We're not getting a good one. To double check, I'll check the next one down. See? So we've got a bad fuse. That would happen to be our horn fuse. You probably can't see it from here. I'm trying to highlight it in the video. That's how you trace it back to which one's bad. And that's actually your horn. So now we know we got a bad fuse. Again, that shows a good one. It shows a bad one. That's how easy it is to check with the multimeter, digital multimeter, using an audio check. 